I'm struggling wrapping gifts, as I'm sure all of you are as well. Ah, welcome to my channel, Living Your Best Life, and I am Cindy Smaha. And today is a little bit different video than I normally do, and um, this is in regards to my health. And it is a, a very transparent video that I want my viewers and um, my family and my community to know what's been going on with me. And um, what's been happening is, is that I have had uh, been on and off sick since July. And you might have seen in my videos where I have a hoarse voice like I do now and um, sort of clouded head my thinking isn't quite clear I'm losing my words and phrases and stuff and uh, what's been happening is is that I've been struggling with my thyroid um, I've been having thyroiditis since July and we didn't actually find out that it was thyroiditis until I want to say probably two months ago and uh, I thought it was another sinus ear infection and as I look back on my life it probably has been thyroiditis over the past five years where I thought I've had reoccurring um, sinus infection and it's not and the reason why I'm telling you this is not just to let you know that I'm going in for thyroidectomy on the same day you see the video actually I'll probably be out in the recovery room by the time this video is posted so I will be wearing lots more turtlenecks uh, up in the next coming weeks and months. Um, thankfully, it's over the holidays and it's winter time, so there won't be as much need for low cut blouses, at least not for me. So, um, and that you'll, I'll be having a, probably a hoarse voice and it and might be difficult to talk, so I don't know. But I wanted you to, for my family to know about it. Uh, but I also, you know, wanted to explain um, my journey with this and how this has really been not a um, a journey of that I go to the doctor and they figure it out and fine. It's really been all on me. And I've really had to be an advocate for my own health. When I first thought that it was thyroid, is when uh, I had, I was starting to get so, so very sick and it was actually over my birthday um, in September. And I just got the worst, worst upset stomach, throbbing sinus pain and pressure. I even got where I had double vision and um, just very clouded, confusion, all of that. and. You know, I'm, I'm putting it on God because I'm not that smart that popped in my head is this thyroid because my, my throat had been swelling up through all of this and that's what thyroiditis does and that's what I have, thyroiditis. And so um, the thyroid gland actually swells up and it gets inflamed and so does all the other tissues around the throat and then head and the neck and it just gets worse and worse and so I've had hoarse voice and at times many times where I lose my voice low energy exhaustion extreme exhaustion I'll be honest with you after I film this I am gonna take a nap and um, just difficultly thinking and putting my words together and the men like I said the mental confusion has been horrible and um, issues with eyesight and body aches and pain and and even swollen glands and sinus ear a sinus ear pain and ear pain just deep in my ear and in my sinuses and my eyes and even though I've got makeup on I think it looks pretty good um, my eyes are all swollen uh, especially the tops of my eyes are all swollen and it's hard for me to actually open my eyes really wide and um, so 
but what really triggered it is that I had a trip to the hospital where they actually did a vitamin D and it was the infinite wisdom of the emergency room. They had a vitamin D and a calcium and those were the vitamin D was like off the charts. It was in toxicity range. And I did more research on this and realized that my parathyroid is also affected. And if you don't know what the thyroid gland does, it basically, if you don't have one and you're not on medication, it is so hard to function. Um, it is the lifeblood, the what I want to say, the brain box of your doctrine system. It makes all of it uh, assists with all your hormones, your adrenal glands, your metabolism, your um, testosterone, estrogen, um, progesterone, um, your digestive system, everything, the inflammatory markers, uh, everything in your body, uh, in some way, shape, in the central nervous system, all those things, even your heart rate. I have found that I've had some um, a fibrillation going and um, a lot of palpitations and shortness of breath and the whole thing. And the parathyroid, when that gets involved in all this, the parathyroid is actually what regulates the, the vitamin D and calcium levels in your body. And uh, the, vit the parathyroid is is off it's not working and so then when you get into vitamin d toxicity and what they call hypercalcemia is that that is when i had gone to the emergency room with my my actual body temperature was down to 94.9 just so you know hyperthermia is 95 and i typically have a low body temperature of like 97.2 but my body temperature has been skyrocketing to 99.9, almost 100, down to 94. And so I've been chilled and then sweat. And so that's what happens is my whole body is just off. My sleep schedule, everything has been affected. And of course, I've had to take some time off work and everything. So finally, I reached out to my endocrinologist and I said I think this is thyroid and she took a look at it they did some TSH now some testing so just so you know TSH is not the end-all or be-all to say whether or not your thyroid is functioning correctly you should have what they call a free t3 which is and a free t4 and a free t3 and I don't I'm, I'm not a doctor so I haven't gone to school for this but I probably should have um, but the free T3 and T4 are hormones that reg help regulate all the other hormones in your body. And so the thyroid, even though your, your TSH might be within normal ranges, and again, normal ranges, somebody decided that based on I don't know what. But I'm not cookie cutter, neither are you, so sometimes normal ranges don't fit with me. Um, but my T3 was low. So what that means is, is that um, your body, your thyroid produces T4 that turns into T3. And so there's an issue with the conversion. I may have enough T4, but if I don't have that T3, then my body's off. It's not functioning. And I'm on thyroid medication. I've had, I was diagnosed, and again, it was God because they couldn't figure it out, Hashimoto's autoimmune disorder. Now, it is an autoimmune disorder. Hashimoto, do you hear Hashimoto's thyroid or um, hy hypothyroidism? Yes, hypothyroidism, the leading cause is Hashimoto's autoimmune disorder. But autoimmune is, is that Autoimmune means is that your body's attacking your body. And so I have thyroid antibodies that are produced by my pituitary gland, this lovely gland up here that isn't thinking straightly. Um, so that those thyroid antibodies go out and attack my thyroid. And so my thyroid is all bumpy and swollen and all that kind of stuff. 
and um, when it's attacking the thyroid, the thyroid swells up and goes down and swells up and goes down. And so um, what happens then with all those processes is that um, with Hashimoto's, it's even worse because you have the added um, antibodies that are attacking it. So when you go for blood tests, I had to ask for a free T3 and a T4 and a um, parathyroid test and um, a TSH. And they said, even though my parathyroid is within normal ranges, and so is my TSH, my T3 and T4 are not functioning correctly. And even if all those blood tests are within normal ranges, you can still have thyroiditis that is affecting your life and horrible symptoms like what I'm talking about. And so please be an advocate for your own health. If you have these symptoms, ask your doctor. Don't wait for them to say, let's do this test. Tell them what tests you want to take. Look it up, research. And when I say be an advocate, I mean, be your own doctor in some way. Don't diagnose yourself because there's a whole nother, you know, realm of that where people just think they have everything under the sun. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, you know, figure it out on your own, but be an advocate and ask the doctor for these blood tests. If you think that it is your TSH and it is Hashimoto's and it is um, antibodies because I have had so many problems with this. And I, I did find this out um, speaking with the thyroid surgeon that overseas, the first, um, I would say the first step when finding out if someone has a, um, has Hashimoto's thyroid is that they remove the uh, hypothyroidism, I should say, they remove the thyroid. That's not the first step in America, which I don't know why not, um, but he is taking it out. And, you know, surgeons typically don't take out organs that don't need to be taken out, just so you know. So, um, so it's really, it's really been a struggle for me. It's really been, it's really been heartbreaking in so many ways. that I, I wish there was a support group for those struggling with, you know, talking to doctors about their issues and having the doctors actually pay attention. Um, but I, I wish there was a way that, you know, there'd be like, you know, you could take a, um, a buy on life. You know, I love the t-shirts that say, um, can't adult today. That's what I've been feeling since July. Ugh, can't adult today. I just can't adult. And how my body is, is like, I may feel somewhat okay in the morning, but as the day goes on, my body is under such a stress and under a load of having all of this, is that I get sicker and sicker. My, my temperature either goes higher or lower, more of the confusion, and it's just, I have to take, I have to leave work early. And, you know, I don't know if my boss understands. I don't know if my job understands. I'm hoping that they do. Um, but this is, this has been horrible. And like I said, I wish there was a way that you could take a, a time out on life and go, okay, time out. Um, I need to take a time out for like three or four months here until I get this straightened out. But you can't, you know, dishes don't wash themselves. The dog doesn't walk themselves. I can't do that with my job. Have to pay bills, right? And um, I've been really trying to put on a really good face. I've been trying to fake it till you make it kind of thing. And, it's not working out so well.
but I wanted you to know because I care about you and I know many of you care about me too. And that's what I, my platform is about. It's about people caring for each other. It's not just about hair and makeup and, and clothes, which I definitely love all that stuff. And don't worry, we are still posting. I'm still posting every Monday at four and even more so. My thoughts are just, you know, going. I've got some, some stuff I'm getting for Christmas. So I'm getting my whole studio set up. And so I've got some shorts I'm gonna be doing and some reels and some more unboxing. So I just want to make my channel grow and grow and grow so I can reach out to more of you and to tell you, to really tell you how important you are and how important your health is. And that's really what I want my channel to really be, is a place that people really care about each other. And we have fun, and we laugh and joke, and we see some cool stuff, maybe go to cool places. But in the end, my channel is living your best life, even when life isn't so much fun, even when it's a struggle. But even in the midst of this struggle, even in the midst of this, I'm still living my best life. And I'm still hoping for an even better life, an even more fulfilling life, a more joyful life, a more fun life. Because I'm not done yet. And I'm not giving up. And I don't want you to give up either. And we're in this together. And I just want you to know that I care about you so, so much. And I love you. And I hope and pray for the best for you. And we're a family here. This is living your best life, family. And um, anyway, I care about you and um, I will keep you up, updated on um, what the biopsy say. I'm hoping and praying for the best that it's just, you know, Hashimoto's thyroiditis and uh, things will get leveled out and I'll feel much better and be back to my 20s and off I go and having whole lots of fun. But I will keep you updated on it and and my health and I'm, I've got some more. This is Sheen, by the way. This is Sheen, isn't this stinking cool? I'm just saying. This is Sheen and I've got some more turtlenecks that are coming in the mail that you're gonna see. Some hot pink, some zebra print, some so, so much fun. So anyway, uh, I will be seeing you next week, Monday at four. Have a great week. Bye-bye.